So, if you've been asked to come up with new ways to use technology in the classroom, then the hardest part is not coming up with the ideas. Not who is going to spread them, but how to spread them. And that can seem overwhelming. But if you can, picture a three carriage train. And on the first carriage you have all the people enrolled in this course today. On the middle carriage you have the people you are going to approach back at school to help. On the last carriage you have the people who are still new to these forms of technology, struggle to use a mouse, when they were in fact used, and search Google for Google. It isn't that they don't want to learn, it's just that they can be so far behind, and teaching these divergent groups can be the biggest challenge. Most teachers will take on any task, if they know that there will be success at the end for the students. So the question is, how are we going to do this, back at our schools? Do you run after school tutorials, you'll only get a few from the first carriage to those. Particularly, when most teachers after a busy day want to either work on lesson preparation, or go home, or somewhere else after a tough day. Do you run tutorials for small groups, in free blocks of time, that magically appear? Do you create endless resources, that include video tutorials, documents with screenshots, and rely on your staff to be self-motivated? Do you wait for pupil free days at the end of a term and hope that staff members retain the knowledge? All these methods are useful. As the original version of this video stated, ask the middle group to publicly present what they have done. Most teachers love the sound of their own voice, so give them the opportunity to have their voice. We know that we need to give students tasks that are achievable and sometimes publicly praise their success, so if we are going to consider ourselves lifetime learners, why should our staff be any different? How can we talk about promoting collaborative work amongst our students, if we don't model it ourselves within our staff? This parody of the three carriage was animated, recorded and written in the space of a couple of hours. Using Cubase, to record a new arrangement of the drums, keyboard, and guitar parts. Using text aloud with Scansoft Voice Daniel for the narration. And Adobe Flash for the animation, 